if you are an english learner then you must have to watch this video because you're always available for them sometimes you have to say no if don't talk too much talk only when required if you will talk, say that she herself does not know english language but still she is teaching i'm not good at english and if i am trying to improve that through this youtube pl platform what am i doing wrong please guide me if i am doing something wrong then please guide me i have read a few comments on that too that uh, this girl does not know how to speak but still she is teaching people i am not teaching you are just yeah. people who always come to criticizing you always coming in your path you have to ignore them and you have to choose your own way you should not need certificate from the other person that you are good at this you don't need other person's approval that you are doing this good or you are doing it bad Hello friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is Karishma and today's video is going to be very special because in this video i am going to talk about those habits or the things which you should have to get respect from the society how a person uh, get respect from the society this is what i'm going to share in this video this, this video is going to be very helpful for you so please guys watch this video till the end you will surely learn something good from this video if you are uh, if you are an english learner then you must have to watch this video because you will find very good uh, like way of speaking and you will be learn that how you can describe things in your basic language without using any fancy words so be in this video till the end and without getting any further delay let's get started yeah so my first point is that money <laughs> in simple language if i would say yeah money money is really important but yeah these days we are not saying it money we are saying it status yes we should have good status in the society then only people start respecting us if you do not have good status in the society if you do not have money in money with you people are not going to respect you so guys be serious even if you are teenager if you are a student just listen this thing very carefully obviously i am elder than you so i can guide you this thing very better but i have already experienced those things in my life and that is why i'm going to share it with you so guys if you are you have just started your career and you are not focusing on that so please i request you to focus on your career first because it's really really important to have good status in the society if you have good status then only people gonna love you then only people gonna respect you even if i'm family nobody give you respect if you are not a earning member obviously if parents are not respecting their child for not earning or not doing work then how we can expect it from the society obviously so if you are a person who just started your career just focus on your career other than other things other things are also important you will get everything on time do not run after other things who distract your mind just focus on your earning and to become a financially independent it's really really important these days i have a lot to talk about on this topic because seriously i have a lot to talk about on this topic but i'm not going to talk otherwise you will you guys will say me that i'm just you know distributing gyan <laughs> which i don't want to be but this is really important you should have good status in the society then only the people respect you the second thing is that honesty have you ever seen the person who always speak uh, like who always lie on very small small things people do not give value to their talk value to or respect to them because of their uh, this bad nature because see if you are lying for some particular reason and for some time it would be fine it would be fine sometime it happens that we have to uh, lie to our family or to someone but if you are a kind of person if you have this habit to speak lie every time it's not at all good for you guys if you are doing this just stop this otherwise nobody going to respect you seriously and if you are a kid you understood better because these days kids are like they used to lie on every point like every point they used to hide everything like related to their mobile related to their study related to their score everything so you should not do this this is not a good habit to you know get into practice you should be always honest it's not if not always at least you should not be dishonest every time understood the difference because i am not saying that we should always speak honestly or i am an honest lady no i am not i have to speak lies sometime sometime if it is really necessary but you should not always be the person who who lie on each and everything people don't respect these kinds of people to be frank yeah now let's move on to the third one third one is really really important always being available 
you are the most good person you are very kind person you always available for everyone this will not work for you if you want to get respect you should be limit you should set your boundaries you should not be available every time for every person people start not disrespect you but they will not respect you if you will always available for them sometimes you have to say no even if you are available even if you are free you have to say no that i am not free generally this is the problem with me i always be available for everyone so i am just working on it and i just try to be um, into this practice so that people start respecting me however i have a lot of people around me who always respect me yeah and i am grateful for them grateful to them and yeah one more thing i would like to say in between that obviously i am an english learner i am not a native speaker uh, english is my second language my first language or native language is hindi so i am very good at hindi but not in english so i may do i may do a few grammar mistakes here and there so please guys ignore them or you can correct me in my comment section as you guys always do yeah so let's move on to the third one fourth one the fourth one is self centered this was my problem also in my initial stage now i am you know getting rid of that but yeah there are many people especially i have uh, seen a lot of girls who always are self centered self centered they just want them to get respect uh, they just want themselves to prioritize in every situation so it is not possible every time you should not you cannot do this for example if i am you know talking about myself 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 that i am this i am that i am this and that the other person who is listening you he, what, what he has been thinking in his mind you cannot even imagine so don't do this it's not really a good practice to be self centered especially for the girls yeah girls have this habit they always you know self obsessed uh, if sometimes in terms of beauty sometimes in their attitude they just think that they are everything and nobody else is on the world and this is not a good practice if you want others to respect you you should not have this habit of like self centered or self obsessed these are not really a good thing so you have to remove them the next one is talk less who is talking about this i am the most talkative person i think on <laughs> on the earth <laughs> i talk a lot i talk a lot but yeah it's not really a good habit if you talk like a parrot nobody will give you respect and you know generally people give respect only to those people who always quiet and speak only when it requires and the people who always talk a lot without any reason people don't respect them don't respect them i have to change this habit of mine and that's why i have studied this topic a lot i get A lot of information about these topics, and then I'm coming here to speak with you. Also, my personal experiences are, you know, including in this. But yeah, so don't talk too much. Talk only when required. If you will talk too much, nobody gonna respect you. If you want to respect, just talk only when requires. And yeah, one more thing which is really important. I'm, you know, continuing in this point. That is, if somebody is not asking for your suggestions, do not give it. there are habit of many people without asking for any advice they start advising other people it's not really good you should always advise when people ask for not without any reason you just get into the conversation and start talking about like yeah you should do this you should no you should not do this you should not do this don't come to me that i am advising you <laughs> it's my job i am doing my english practice by doing this actually this is my practice i'm doing my practice by speaking to you so see i have to do my practice and if i will speak some like something there is no like how to say this bina sar pair ki baat karne se it would be better to speak something which makes sense so that would be beneficial for you talk less observe more speak less only when required do not give free advices to everyone do not give yes Let's move on to the next one. The next one is having no talent or skill. If you are in your teenage, please start. You know, nobody is very natural. Nobody get everything from like by birth. Every person has to develop their skill by practice only. 
I do I did not have this skill of speaking since my childhood. I developed it and I'm trying to develop it for my future because I love talking. I I love to participate in the speeches. I love to speak on the stage and that is why I am developing this habit. So if you are in your teenage, if you are a student, just polish your skill. Whatever skill you have, if you are good at something, just start polishing that skill so that you can be perfect in that skill. If you have some talent, then only people will respect you. Trust me, this is really very true. If you have nothing, if you have no talent, nobody will like you, nobody will respect you. People only respect those people who have achieved something in their life, who have good talent, who have something or even if they don't have talent, they have some passion to achieve their talent or they have some passions to grow their talent. So always just start polishing your skills, take it to a good level, then only people will start respecting you. Let's move on to the next point. The last and the most important is confidence. I only have this talent. I only have this habit, I can say. And because of my confidence, I think people respect me a lot because they thought they do not have that confidence and they think that I am really good and, you know, just bold. I am able to communicate whatever I want to convey very confidently. I have no fear of speaking. I don't care about the people what they're talking about me, that what am I speaking? Even if, even there are many people who say that she herself does not know English language but still she is teaching she does not know how to speak and she is still taking sessions why is she doing that if I have if I have some lacking points so what does that mean I should leave it with that only I should not try to you know make it perfect why I should not try you tell me the thing if I am lacking in something and if I am trying to improve that thing so what's wrong with it what is wrong with it I am not at good in English I am not good at English and if I am trying to improve that through this YouTube pl platform what am I doing wrong please guide me if I am doing something wrong then please guide me I have read a few comments on that too that uh, this girl does not know how to speak but still she's teaching people I'm not teaching yeah I'm just coming here to share my experiences with you I know that you guys can understand this basic language because I'm speaking very basic English and I know that you can understand this so if I'm talking to you, if I'm sharing my thinking with you, so what is wrong in it? I do not understand. I do not understand. There are people who always come to criticizing you, always coming in your path. You have to ignore them and you have to choose your own way. You should never stop. You should never stop. Trust me, if you will stop by the criticizing, by the other people's criticizing, you won't be able to do anything in your life. You won't be able to achieve anything in your life. You should never listen to the people what they are saying. Even if they are saying good about you, just ignore them. Just believe on yourself. You very well know that what good you are doing and what bad you are doing. You should not believe on others. You should not need certificate from the other person that you are good at this. You don't need other person's approval that you are doing this good or you are doing it bad. You know yourself, your heart knows. The first of all, your heart, heart knows that what you are doing. You know very well what is good for you or what is bad for you. It's just that you should not influence by the other people who are talking about bad, who are talking bad about you. So these are the few things which you have, if you, even if you don't have, just try to incorporate them into your personality and you will be able to, a person who will get a lot of respect from the society, from the people, obviously like I have, I have tell you the very basic common things, very basic things like status. You know, honesty, every person respect, honest person, confidence. It's a, it is the key of success actually. I have only this ability since my childhood, which I always say share with you that I, I was being a confident child since my childhood. I have never ever feared of anything. Never ever. I have also shared my personal stories uh, also with you in this regard. Yeah, in terms of confidence, if you have watched my previous videos. Third thing is like self-centered. We should not be self-centered. There are other people too. And people generally like only those people who like if I'm talking to other person, if I am talking good about him, he will surely like me. And if I talk about myself, obviously he won't like me. This is true. Boundaries. You have to set your boundaries also. This is also a good point. You, sh you should set your boundaries. There is a limit of everything. If something is excess from the limit, you should control of it. I think, 
I think, uh, yeah, guys. So now I'm going to stop this video right here. And if you like this video, then please hit a like button. You guys never like me videos. You just come watch and go. Why you are doing this and doing efforts here? I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for myself also, but for you also. You are also learning a few things. You also, you always tell me in my comment section that when I'm learning English from you, I feel so happy about it actually, to be frank. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, like the video, subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friends. And uh, if you want to watch uh, any special topic, just comment me. I will try to make video on that. I promise to you. Yeah. And thank you so much for giving me so much love in my previous video. I just post that I am quitting YouTube. Why am I quitting YouTube? I just put the question mark. I think uh, there are few people who did not watch the video and start commenting me that I'm doing like, let it be, <laughs> let it be. I, I don't mind actually, but there are many people who give me so lovely comment. I love your, I love reading your comment guys. I really love and thank you so much. And I'm not leaving. I was clearly said in the first one minute of that video that I'm going to share two videos in a week. I clearly said this. If you can see, if you can compare like in my last month, I have hardly posted five to seven videos like individual videos in a month only. Clapping up videos are very easy to post. I did not have to do any edit or something. It was just the session which I took with the clapping and they send, send me the recorded video so I don't need to do any effort so I just I can post them regularly obviously but for making individual content I need time I need to think I need to google few things I cannot share anything which is not true obviously at, at least at, not at my end I should be confirmed that the things I am gonna telling you should be correct obviously so guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for giving me so much love. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.